I'd show you different ways people orthographically map, okay? Just so you can see it. This is probably the most common, all right? And so, but basically, but I'll show you other ways to do it too. But basically you're helping students, the point of this, and this starts going to your question about um, sight words, which I'll get in, into in a minute, that you're helping students see the letter sequence and memorize that letter sequence so that the word becomes automatic. And so that's basically what you're doing in orthographic mapping, okay? Um, so again, that's also why we use the blending routines that I shared, I've shared with you. So or, sore, what's the word? Sore, right? Or, or, fork, what's the word? Fork. But by me doing it this way, and you can do it on a whiteboard too, but I'm reinforcing that letter sequence and I'm reinforcing that phoneme grapheme connection and helping them see that OR goes together, right? Or, cor, d, cord. What's the word? Cord. And then same thing with the right. So the word is corn. What are the sounds in corn? K corn, corn, right? What's the first sound? K What's the second sound? Or. What's the third sound? Mm. So doing this very systematic decoding and encoding helps lead, not only with blending, but it will help build orthographic mapping. 